Uh, just gone 6 p.m. Our aircraft carrier group is coming under once again enemy fire. Led currently by Ark Royal, they're trying to get out of Dodge. Now, a lot of the, ca uh, the cruisers and destroyers with her are out of ammo, so they can't really put up a fight. So we've got the heavy cruisers around us, but I don't think... Can we see any targets? I can hear the... Oh. Okay, I see star shells. I don't see any um, ships there, but it's probably going to be that Italian group once again. Oh, there's a ship there. Oh, I see the uh, guns firing there. Oh, a couple of the destroyers do have some shells, though. Um... Oh, and actually getting some hits on. Um, I thought she was laying a smoke screen. She may have actually taken the hit. Um, but yeah, we've got the Italian ships here. We've got the um, cruiser in the background. I think, uh, hopefully, her primaries are out. No, they're not. That is a worry. We've got the, uh, the Kriegsmarine light cruiser here. She's struggling. She doesn't want to be engaged either. We're all trying to limp away back to port. Obviously it's gone 6pm so there's no aircraft up and the fact that they've got a cruiser with ammo is a big issue for us. Thankfully both parties went their separate ways. A little bit more damage done to a couple of our ships but they were pretty badly damaged anyway. Edward's down here, critical flooding and critical damage. Um, the Konigsberg, the Kriegsmarine light -like cruiser, heavy damage, moderate flooding. The uh, Luigi, um, heavy damage, minor flooding, and the Soldati, critical damage, minor flooding. So yeah, if we could send some aircraft up, I think we could finish them off, but unfortunately we've got an entire night for them to slip away. And as we come past half past 11 on the 6th of October, our Task Force 15 has made it to Akrotiri. Uh, let's get some... Well, let's manage some cargo, I suppose. Can we land some troops on here? Uh, no. We've got to be six more. Okay. Uh, maybe we just need to come this way. It's not 100% sure. I thought I was close enough. Oh. Let's try again. Yeah, there we go. That works. Just it's not quite on the uh, the island, so that's fine. Uh, so they have now captured uh, that piece of landmass. So let's head back to um, Alexandria, and we can see what we can do from there. Good stuff. Meantime, Una is taking forever and a day to get down here. I suppose she is only a small um, U-boat or submarine. Yeah, it's taken a while, but there we go. Another territory. Akatiri is under British control. Huzzah. And as 5am rolls by, aircraft take off once again for recon. And we've got cruisers in the med. We've got what seems to be two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers there. So let's see if we can get um, some recon up to see what they are. If they are indeed cruisers... Let's send the B-17s. Go and check them out. They can do some uh, 10,000 feet bombing. Uh, to see what's what. Send a recon aircraft towards us. Let's see how our B-17s get on. And at quarter past six, our B-17s arrive in the area. As they begin their climb, can we see the convoy? Oh, there they are. Uh, yes indeed, it looks like we've got cruisers, merchant ship, okay, okay the bombers are coming up to the targets now, we're attacking the lead, well the lead three ships, they're obviously doing evasive maneuvers, which are um, cruisers, hopefully um, maybe get some bombs on target. So these four are attacking this one here. The four behind us, which I can't quite see, are going to be attacking that one and that one in 
in short order. So, as the sand waves... Oh! Deafened by my earphones from the accuracy of that bombing. She's almost ground to an instant stop, which is good news for us. Guns are still firing, but there's a lot of damage on there. Second wave coming in. The burning crews in the background. This is wave two's target. Hopefully we'll have good results. Oh, that cruiser's gone. That looks very promising indeed. The stern is ablaze. Fantastic. Now, only one more. There's another cruiser back here, but we haven't got enough aircraft for that. Wave three, bombs away. One cruiser sunk, one burning. What about number three? Oh, number two's gone as well. Oh, <laughs> that has got to rip through the heart of the ship. Through the midships, that has got to be serious damage. I think we might have a third. The Kriegsmarine cruiser, absolutely unblemished because we didn't have enough aircraft to attack her. But we've attacked. Oh, that's three gone. Beautiful. So this um, convoy now has one light cruiser, German light cruiser, a couple of merch, three merchant ships. Nice. Well, we know who's next on our list to target. Confirmation. After action report, 11 aircraft attacked and all B-17s were A-OK -okay and can return home. And there we have three enemy Italian cruisers sunk for 12,000, 13,334 tons and 11,350 tons respectively. 36,684 tons sunk after three ships sent to the bottom. Kind of starting to feel like we're getting revenge for the Nelson. Brilliant. Those guys can return straight to base uh, and maybe we can send up some more aircraft to attack them uh, in the near future. Meanwhile, we've got lots of ships sailing between uh, Tripoli and um, Malta, as always seems to be the case. Uh, what we've got here? Light cruiser, maybe. Recon aircraft there, which suggests it could be a cruiser. Um, what should we send up? Let's send up... Hmm. Okay, let's send up um, six bow fighters with torpedoes. Let's go and check on what is over there. So at 6.47, our bow fighters are in the area where... Oh, well, we've just had a ping. Where these cruisers or destroyers, whatever the ships may be, were last spotted. Oh, wait, wait, I can see them. Oh, yeah, it does look like an Italian just cruiser and can't quite tell what the first one is okay let's um break off and begin our attack okay here we go we've got six aircraft a flight of four and a flight of two the first two are coming in and they're going to attack the lead ship the destroyer and the four behind are going to line up for the light cruiser uh it looks like another uh, Luigi with the stripes painted on the um, front of the ship there. Oh god, anti-aircraft fire is intense. Torpedo's gone. Duck and dive, see if we can get out of here. All attention goes to the second wave of aircraft. Oh, unfortunately we lost an aircraft. The torpedoes look like they are overrunning. They have missed. There's aircraft in a bad way, yeah. So all torpedoes seem to have missed from that attack. Yeah, the sea's a bit choppy. Torpedoes went in a bit once we had an angle in. Unfortunately, they've all skipped in front of the two vessels that they were sent to target. 
But we know what they are now, so we can send another group in a little while to try and finish them off. So unfortunately, of the six aircraft, one was shot down and no damage done to the two ships. Okay, so we can get those guys to return to base. Uh, and maybe we'll send some other um, aircraft up. Maybe from Malta. What have we got Malta? B-17s. That could do the job, couldn't it? Um, let's get them heading down there. Take a while for them to pop out ready to attack. Uh, quarter past seven. The B-17s are up. Climbed up to 10,000. And uh, we are... Searching the seas for them. We had a ping, so I know they're here somewhere. Okay, we've got them coming in three waves. Um, there's quite a bit of spacing between the three waves, and that's quite good. They are, we can see the wakes there. The ship's ahead. We are going for the Luigi cruiser at the back. Second flight in is going to try and hit the destroyer, and the third is going to try and. Well, we may need to split them up if we need to, but um, yeah trying to finish them off. See the little flickers of the anti-aircraft guns firing? They can only use their big guns to try and get us. Too high for their machine gun, small arms. Hopefully we can get these bombs on target. Okay, here she is. Starting to do a little bit of evasive. Let's see where the bombs land. Are they going to be as accurate as the other group? Oh, yes. That looks quite devastating. Huge amounts of smoke, plumes of it, in fact, going up into the sky. She's still making some speed, so hopefully um, that will slow down and uh, she'll soon be at death's door. Okay, second wave coming in. This one's going for the lead destroyer. You can see the smoke rising from the cruiser at the back. Okay, the destroyer is of course going to be a lot more manoeuvrable and quicker than the cruiser. Uh, so we'll see how this attack goes. Oh, light damage I should say. Nothing much to report home. Now, how do we use the third wave? I'm thinking we do what we can to try and finish off the, um, the cruiser, although she does look in a bad way. Okay, on the third flight, we are splitting them up. Uh, they're going to get two at each to attack the two smoking ships down there. And hopefully, that'll be enough to uh, finish them off. Okay, here's, I think, one B-17 drop bombs. And they miss. Right, the other three, who are too close to really do an effective bomb run, I think we'll get to target the cruiser. Okay, here, here are the three bombers. Two of them are still making their turn. Um, the second one's coming in. We're going for the cruiser. She stopped smoking. Uh, we can always send uh, lightly armed uh, vessels, uh, sorry, aircraft to try and attack the destroyer. But as we got the bombs, we might as well try and hit the cruiser. Good hit. Guns are still firing, she's still active. She's gone. Unfortunately, the other two have already dropped their bombs, so she may get. Yep. <laughs> may get a bit, of, a bit more salt rubbed into the wounds, but there we go. Um, we came and uh, did most of our objectives, sinking the cruiser, and the destroyer is still smoking. Um, but yeah, we might be able to send up something a little bit lighter faster to try and finish that destroyer off but the cruiser is gone so after the action uh, 12 aircraft safely out and uh, ready to head home the um, Luigi 
cruiser sunk for 11,350 tons. The destroyer, no damage, no flooding apparently, but she was smoking, but um, yeah, nothing doing. All right, let's get those returned to base. There's precious B-17s, so that's good. So it's still a destroyer out there, but I'm not terribly worried about that. Uh, so they can go back to... Um, Uh, Malta. What I might just do... Oh, can't launch any more aircraft. I'm just going to send some fighters up to get rid of these recon aircraft. Just to get them out of our air. Encounter with Tripoli. Well, there's that one destroyer we know of. I'm not sure that's an old... That could be an old... Uh... Oh, hello. There's a cruiser out there, though. Uh, what we got at Tunis? We got a... We do have an airbase. We have four B-17s. Let's um, it's all B-17s today, isn't it? Let's send them to go and have a look at those cruisers, though. Uh, we do have the Undaunted, the uh, destroyer, uh, destroyer, the um, submarine um, patrolling off um, Tunis's harbour here, which is good. And we've got these sea fires guarding the Ark Royal as she limps back to uh, to base. Meanwhile, near Gibraltar, we've got the. Uh, well, basically the um, supply ships and uh, with two destroyers. So what I might do is um, wait until these get get back. Any of the the cruisers, which are okay, I might put them in here while the Ark Royal's getting repaired, and we'll get these with supplies sent over and start building the uh, the base here at Benghazi and trying to improve the airfield, won't we? Should be good. We do have an airbase here, so what we could do is send up a B-17, uh, strip all the bombs, and uh, yeah, we'll just send it to do some uh, some recon. Uh, meantime, um, Task Force 15 has made it back here. Do we try and head over to um, Lera Petra? to try and capture that. I think we probably do, don't we? What have we got in Alexandria? We've got a thousand troops. Hmm. What do we need at Benghazi? Engineering fuel, 100 and 1,000 supplies. I don't think we can do anything but troops on um, a destroyer, can we? Uh, manage cargo. Oh no, we can, put, we can put supplies on there. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, so what do we need in Benghazi? We need a uh, thousand supplies, so we can get 800 across. Um, okay, that's interesting. Right, anyway. Let's um, manage cargo. Let's put 250 troops on that one. Okay, and we can set course up here. We do have some merchant ships in the area. It says a destroyer, but there was one being escorted by the cruiser, wasn't there? So let's send bow fighters with rockets. Yeah. To see if we can finish off those merchants. And almost 20 to 10, the bow fighters are here. There we go. There's the convoy. Is this the one with the cruiser? It is. Damn. We should have brought something a little bit more uh, heavyweight. We've got rockets, don't think we can do much to a cruiser, so let's target some of the merchant ships. Okay, here we go. Um, we're going for the merchant behind the cruiser, and also the one to the right of it. Closing up formation now. This is probably a little bit risky. We probably should just bug out and um, send something with a little bit more firepower. The rocket should be okay for, for the merchants, but the anti-aircraft fire from the cruiser is the one I'm worried about. they get, try and get out of dodge oh, 
they seem to have got a smoking but they seem to be making it um, the next wave coming in three bow fighters going for this merchant over here that one looks in a bad way doesn't it another great attack watch out for the fire oh we've lost one on that cruiser hopefully we can use our speed to get out of here so at the end of that, um, we did lose one aircraft, but we did sink two merchant ships. One for 12,000 tons, the other for 6,440 tons. Good stuff, 18,440 tons sent to the bottom. But there's still that cruiser which we need to keep an eye on. Right, so they were there. We can get them returning to base. The other thing we need to obviously worry about is because we got the two destroyers going up there. Um, so what we need to probably think about is getting some B-17s up and about four will probably do and we'll get them sailing above there now hopefully by the time that comes by they should reappear on the map okay a light bit of flak as um, we start to climb up to 10,000 feet there's the cruiser and there's the merchant ship so we're going to climb up to 10,000 feet swoop round and then make an attack on the cruiser Okay, here we go. The uh, two ships ahead. Obviously, the one closest to us being the cruiser, making invasive maneuvers as best as we can. But we'll drop all four payloads, and hopefully, we'll get some good hits. Here's that German cruiser. Sailing in parallel with the merchant ship. Could be a troop ship, in fact. Oh no, it's only got one. I think it's probably just a normal merchant ship, sorry. There you go. Oh! The reverberation and the tatters my eardrums are in suggest that was a great hit and a great attack. And um, yes, the cruiser looks in big trouble grinding to a halt which is always a good sign and she's gone so there you go all four aircraft are okay and we sunk the German cruiser for 6,310 tons good stuff return to base so we are cementing our control in this little corner here we can get those boys up to there capture that as well I'll be well happy indeed. Also got the Una finally making her way over there. Meantime, there's a lot of potential cruisers moving in and around the southern... Ooh, there's a convoy there. Uh, around southern Italy. Uh, so that's something we need to be concerned about. Meanwhile, Ark Royal is limping home. Uh, INV-1, I'm actually going to get you good, head up to Gibraltar. We can get you loaded up with troops and supplies ready to go. Um, should we need it but yeah yeah i might just send something what we got in the way of um well we could send safari how many torpedoes you got five actually you can come back to base then get some rearm done i'll send the um the, the sub up to try and hunt them we can go and do some early recce with hornets with bombs Send the Wyvern. Uh, with, well, with torpedoes, why not? Go and have a look, see what they are. So, a quarter to one. The Wyverns are in the area looking for this com. Always oh, a big convoy, indeed. What do we got? The. Well, there's four merchant ships. The rest of. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of warships. Okay, here we go. We are setting up for an attack now on this huge task group. Um, yeah, we are going... These two are going to target the cruiser behind that merchant ship there. The other two are going to target this one here. So if it runs on, we've got a good chance of hitting the destroyer of the ship or whatever it is at the back. Um, but yeah, so there's the other two. Slightly further spread out. Look at the flickering anti-aircraft guns wow torpedoes drop really early okay 
I don't want to get in, into that and I don't blame her. Hopefully these are... Um, oh my goodness, look at that hail of fire. I don't have too much hope for them. Okay, they're doing okay. Those two are split in the fire. And they get the torpedoes. Will we get a score to hit? I don't know, but um, yeah, I don't want to send my ships in there. Again, this feels like a B-17 from 10,000 feet jobby. Okay, here comes the first torpedoes towards the ships. Uh, this one wasn't the target, it was the cruisers beyond. I think there's probably two torpedoes in that larger wake. And one apiece here. Oh, they look on target, don't they? Yeah, there's two there. Ooh, we could get some good hits on this cruiser at the front. One good hit. Two good hits, and a hit on the uh, the bow of that one. But there's another torpedo coming in. Is it going to do the business? Bet your life it is. So despite that looking absolutely harem scarum, that was a good attack. These two Luigi heavy cruisers, well this one's Luigi I think, that one could be the same. They are both two torpedoes apiece into the nose or into the bow section and hopefully they may suffer with that. Oh, explosions on the second cruiser. Uh, the second one looks in real trouble. She's gone. This one doesn't look as troubled. She's still moving at a pace, despite the fires. So, thankfully, all four aircraft survived. Um, we sunk one of the cruisers for 11,350 tons. The other received heavy damage and heavy flooding. And one of the merchant ships has got minor damage and minor flooding. I think they had a collision with one of the other ships, but uh, nothing else is registering. And let's launch some um, P-17s to go and do some more carnage to the, that uh, convoy. At half past one, the B-17s are sent in to cause maximum carnage. Okay, as we near, oh my goodness, you can see the convoy is in absolute scatter mode. Oh, it's going to be actually more of a challenge to bomb like this because they're not in that nice uniform rows. And we've got a group heading after, is it that one? No, after this one, the one we damaged last time. You see she's down at the bow. Um, and I think the others are going to try and attack this cruiser here. And maybe... Uh, the, there's another cruiser somewhere. Anyway, we'll see how this attack goes. It, <laughs> look at them, they're doing a good ev evasive maneuver attempt, so if we don't hit the target, you'll understand why. Lower group has dropped their bombs. Going for this one here, I believe. Bomb's gone. Okay. Oh, great attack on the first cruiser. Watch for the one in the background. You can't see it because of the smoke. Oh, we miss. And here's the... Uh, the one we hit last time with the torpedoes, but survived. Smoke right. Oh, we've got that first one. Brilliant. Waiting for the bomb splashes. More good hits in the midships. Will that be enough to send her down? Oh, two cruises out of this would be a result, for sure. Bow is getting lower and lower. Looks like she's diving. <laughs> she's gone. Fantastic. I'm happy with that. Two further cruisers to add to the sunk pot. Confirmation. All 12 B-17s survived the attack uh, and they were able to sink 
uh, two cruisers for 13,334 tons and 12,000 tons respectively and you can see all the minor damage and the moderate damage here from the I don't know if there was some concussion damage from the bombs landing nearby or this is all them running into each other in a panic probably the latter uh, 25,334 tons sunk Right, to get them returned to base, and that is... Oh, hello, we've got rec Recon coming over um, Tunis there. Oh my goodness. The um, carrier group is limping slowly back. It's uh, it's a painful watch, it really is. But it's been a good, good day. Um, no further losses for us since last week's catastrophic loss of the Nelson battleship. 42,000 tons we lost in total and today the 7th of October um, we have sunk an absolute plethora of cruisers uh, we started with the Giuseppe Garibaldi a Luigi class light cruiser 11,350 tons Trieste a Trento heavy cruiser for 13,334 tons the Petro a Zara heavy cruiser for 12,000 tons the Duca de Uno, another Luigi light cruiser, 11,350 tons. CV1, a merchant ship, 6,440 tons. And um, Karakoa, uh, something like that, um, 12,000 tons, merchant ship. With the, the Mitty, a Leipzig light cruiser for 6,310 tons. Uh, Duca de Dune. Another Luigi light cruiser for 11,350 tons. The uh, Bunda, the Zara heavy cruiser for 12,000 tons. And Revenun, Revenun, a Torrento uh, heavy cruiser for 13,334 tons. So one, two, uh, three, four heavy cruisers. One, two, th three, four light cruisers. Eight cruisers we sunk today and two merchant ships. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's quite impressive. Not only that, uh, eight cruisers sunk. We've also captured Akratori, and uh, we've got more troops on the way to uh, uh, Lera Petra to uh, try and capture that one as well. Goodness me. Wow. Uh, meantime, it started off with the uh, aircraft carrier narrowly trying to get away from the uh, the remnants of that Italian task group because we were out of ammo and damaged. Uh, thankfully we were able to avoid any more conflicts with them. Um, but for now, oh, goodness me, the carnage in the Mediterranean continues. Thankfully today, we're the beneficiaries. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.